Magandang umaga mga kaibigan. Ako nga pala si Eva Felipe Dimo, isang registered midwife sa Pilipinas. At isa po sa aking advocacy ay ang pagbahagi ng mga impormasyon tungkol sa kalusugan na pwede pong makatulong sa mga kagaya kong midwife o iba pang healthcare professionals sa pagbibigay ng mga health education sa kanilang health, health center or catchment areas. Ngayon, ang ating pag-uusapan ay tungkol sa mga suggested promotional strategies para ma-encourage ang ating mga buntis para mag-take ng iron and folic acid supplementation sa ating health centers. So ito ang ating pag-uusapan ngayon. Good morning, friends! Welcome to my second vlog. I would like to share with you some promotional strategies that you can consider in providing antenatal care to your pregnant women in your catchment areas. Okay. In my last vlog, I was able to share with you about information on the benefits of iron folic acid supplements and what are the risks that, um, that might happen if this supplement is not taken by pregnant women. For the, for the review, the component of iron and folic acid supplementation, one is iron. So if pregnant women will not take this one, they have increased risk to have low birth weight infant, preterm delivery, and also restriction of fetal growth. For the folic acid component or the vitamin B9, um, if mothers will not take this one, during the first trimester of pregnancy, especially in the first 28 days of life of the baby, it, it may increase the mother to give birth to a child with open spina bifida and anencephaly. These are neural tube defects that can be increased by not taking folic acid supplements. Okay, And so if you take this one, this uh, untoward event, may be prevented. However, 19% um, only of Filipino pregnant women with at least one antenatal care visit were compliant to the recommended 180 days of iron supplementation. So, it's, it's still very low. We want this, as midwife, we want to increase and to encourage mothers to comply with the recommendation of the Department of Health. We, we as midwives are implementer of this program. As midwife, we, uh, so we are not in control with this irregular supply and logistic issues. We can only do so much on the above uh, problems of, uh, or factors. Of, uh, <clears throat> okay, now um, in relation to these uh, barriers or problems or challenges in providing antenatal care, particularly iron folic acid supplements, uh, we were able to write a prospective paper entitled Promotional Strategies to Increase Iron and Folic Acid Supplementation Compliance Among Pregnant Women in the Philippines. My co-author here is... Um, um, Dr. Fu Wenlia, my professor, Catherine Lim Tipton Silao, this is my mentor, and Dr. Xiu Hong Wang, another, my, another professor. This is published in 2021 by the Philippine Journal of Science. So if you want to avail, read about this article, feel free to download it and you might learn something that you can apply or implement in your health centers. Okay. Um, in our paper, we have four suggestions. First is, um, as midwives, we support the implementation of existing health programs. So, one of these programs is the early child care and development for the first 1,000 days of life. So this is a holistic in providing health, nutrition, education, and social welfare of pregnant women. Okay, so we, as 
we implement this one and we support all the, all the programs in this, in this uh, strategy. Another program in this another program is the Pabasa sa Nutrition. This is a <coughs> program by the Nutrition Center of the Philippines. And the aim of this program is to educate caregivers of the family. At least one family has one caregiver that will be trained about nutrition practices and healthy lifestyle to reduce malnutrition. So we can use these strategies to teach, teach them on how to prevent anemia and also the benefits of, uh, of the supplements as well. Okay. Another is behavioral change intervention. So this is designed by the Nutrition International. Okay, I think uh, most of the health center in our country doesn't have this program or strategy yet, but based on the um, plan of Nutrition International, Philippines is one of the um, beneficiaries of this program. This behavioral change intervention, one strategy is using digital technologies such as mobile phones. Um, mobile phones are used to send text reminders to pregnant women to remind them about their antenatal care visit schedules and reassurance of their baby's development. For adolescent women also, we can partner with teachers to send text reminders or health information to motivate them to use iron and folic acid supplements and to provide information about the risks of anemia and benefits of the supplements. Remember that the folic acid is best taken before pregnancy. In other countries, they they recommend it six months before pregnancy. Others would recommend it one year before pregnancy. So, um, in the Philippines, uh, teenage pregnancy is increasing. So, uh, promoting the use of iron and folic acid supplements will uh, prepare them um, and treat any anemia during the pre-pregnancy period. Our second suggestion in this paper is to improve health education and counseling. We avoid discouraging condition in our health facility like the long waiting time. We try to do our best. We try our best to minimize the long waiting time of our client because this was found as a as a barrier that women are discouraged to come to have their antenatal care. During health education in counseling, these are the important issues that we need to tackle uh, about the promotion of proper nutrients, the prevention of anemia and pregnancy through the uh, proper diet and also the supplementation especially. We, we include in our health education and counseling about the benefits and importance of the supplements and the benefits of early early initial visit like in the first trimester of pregnancy or before pregnancy and more frequent antenatal care visit which is at least four antenatal care visit and also how to manage the side effects of the supplement i think it would also help us if we edu if we sh educate our pregnant women that the side effect that they may feel might be a result of the pregnancy but not the supplement okay so i think we need also to to discuss what are the things that the changes during pregnancy that they might relate it to the supplement okay and in our health education and counseling it would help us also to use standardized teaching materials um across healthcare providers to ensure that we have a uniform information being disseminated to our um, pregnant women. Our third suggestion in the paper is to follow up and monitor the supplements uptake of our pregnant women. One is to involve family members 
and use mobile phones for text reminders or calendars so it it, it will help healthcare providers if we if we partner with family members to remind about their uptake about their supplementation and another one if we do a home visit we must monitor and count the iron and folic acid supplements if it's few tablets and we provide additional tablets just for them to complete the required or recommended uh, supplements another is um, the use of of home-based mother's record uh, through this uh, prenatal book we will check and monitor the amount that that we gave them the uh, how many pills that we, were, we gave them so that we can provide additional supplies. By the way, home mother's record is very helpful for our pregnant women because it contains information that can help us to uh, teach them about, about pregnancy, what are danger signs, the schedules of immunization, uh, the warming, dental uh, checkup, uh, and what to prepare when to, if they will give birth, and also the growth and development of the baby, even their um, tetanus toxoid is there. So the home-based mother's record is not only to check for updates and monitoring of their pills, but also it helps us um, in disseminating uh, beneficial or needed information for our pregnant women. Okay, our fourth suggestion is um, timely and frequent antenatal visit. Timely means early antenatal care visit. First trimester, as soon as possible, the mother should go for antenatal care visit in our clinic. Okay, um, we can do this one by involving trained community key persons. Um, in our country, there are tribal leaders we can partner with them and we can train them about the supplementation and the importance of antenatal visit okay so this was this was found to increase uh, initial care visit by 50 percent and at least four antenatal care visit by 50 percent even the key leaders even barangay officials will help us encourage our pregnant women the importance of the supplementation. Okay. Another one is family support and the presence of uh, husband or man during prenatal or antenatal uh, follow-up visit of pregnant women. It shows that uh, the man supports the pregnancy of uh, pregnant women. Those are the four suggestions that um, could help us in encouraging mothers to take antenatal care visit. If you like this video, comment below for other suggestions that I may discuss or share with you for our next vlog. Thank you so much. God bless you all.